I'm sitting here with uh, Matthew Hawkins, Senior Lecturer, BA Photography at the London College of Communication. Hi Matthew, um, could you tell us a little bit about your course please and about the aspirations that you have for your course? Okay, we, 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 we like to think of ourselves as one of uh, the UK's leading uh, undergraduate photography courses. It's a long-standing course, uh, one of the very first courses to be validated as a BA, photography courses to be validated as a BA course, um, and in our view suggests that there's an academic uh, element to the study of photography, the practice and study of photography. And um, how does the course design um, support um, these aspirations? Well, in the last few years, we've been using um, a, a digital space uh, run by the university, Workflow, as a, a kind of default place in the first year where we work towards identifying how research, uh, a, a practice of academic research and experimentation, um, informs uh, students' creative practice. And how much did you need to learn about uh, this to, to get it up and running? Um, we attended a few um, sessions with um, Workflow's designers. Um, to be uh, very frank with you, uh, we, uh, the staff and students, uh, uh, we've thrown ourselves in the deep end and we've kind of uh, fumbled our way through the, the technology and um, <laughs> it, for the most part... Um, have found a way to make it work. Okay. Um, and uh, what benefits have, uh, have come from taking this approach? I mean, it, from my view, in my view and from my observation, the, 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 the practice of uploading uh, research and experimentation uh, which um, on, into workflow by individual students, enabling them to share it in tutorial groups with their peer group, has been very, uh, very exciting in a way, um, a way of kind of uh, promoting peer learning, um, uh, promoting dis debate and discussion about individuals' ideas. I'm also sort of um, uh, very keen on the aspect of, of, you know, workflow is is a sophisticated platform, um, demanding some sort of some basic decision making about uh, design skills and creating a kind of context for uh, students' uh, research and experimentation, which I think is, you know, a great place uh, to start um, because I think increasingly um, creative individuals will have to, will have to be um, familiar with designing their, their outcomes on, in the digital environment, uh, the screen environment. So it's also beneficial in just thinking about how, how you present your ideas uh, right from the outset. And um, what aspect of, um, of using workflow and of this approach in general have uh, staff and students struggled with the most? Well, I think, you know, workflow is sophisticated. Um, much, uh, it's not simply a consumer platform where, uh, so, you know, most, most of us uh, use, uh, dig you know, consumer orientated products. Workflow um, has a, a sort of higher level of sophistication, has more perhaps more functionality or um, more choices to be made and um, you know usually the staff are the ones that um, struggle the most with those technical possibilities uh, and to be fair some students have found it uh, you know ad adapting themselves to that, this more kind of complex environment uh, you know uh, uh, difficult or to a degree difficult. Having said that, I think most people find some functionality in it um, eventually. And I think simply by by making sure that we support people um, um, more and you know right from the outset, we'll will overcome those sort of problems. Mm. And uh, what sort of things um, do you think students would like to do or maybe should be aware of? Um, and aren't aren't doing with workflow at the moment. Um, I, mean, I think the, the, the fundamental thing is the is, is this idea of archiving the work because I, I could imagine you know students if they adopt it at the beginning of their course and continue it through the course they're going to amass uh, quite a lot of uh, you know a, a a a sophisticated and and deep record of their you know their academic research and their their experimentation um, now you know one thing i'd like to think one thing i'd like to um, 
ensure is, is to, to make students realise that, that all this work is their personal kind of, their private even, if they wish it to be, but it's their intellectual property and, and archiving it and keeping it so that it constitutes a kind of a, a history, a trajectory of their studies um, is something that we, we could improve upon because, um, you know, work, it, it's, work, workflow is work. Yes. And and it's not, um, you know, one of the that's one of the stumbling blocks is that people think well it's it's extra work um, and I mean I'm not going to apologise for making people work mm-hmm. um, in a college but it is work and so as such it should you know let's hold on to that the res- the outcome of that work um, in the best way um, so students can keep it forever. Mm. So finding ways of making it portable, I guess, getting getting it out of workflow when students leave and making sure they have access to it um, in the future yes. is, is absolutely key, isn't it, yeah. making, making that um, yeah. part of it. Excellent, thank you. And do you have any other um, thoughts or reflections you'd like to, to share with us? Um, well, only that, um, in my view, it's uh, really in the student's best interest to you know, make the most of workflow. Um, it's in our best interest too because it's very useful in identifying and recognising all the work that goes into not only workflow but um, the, the creative practices that students are committed to um, from the outset. So I think it's very useful in assessment. Um, we use it as a we use it fundamentally as um, a work an alternative to the to the traditional black workbook that you buy in the college shop. We have an electronic mm. version. Mm. Um, it's, it's because, of the, because it's an online uh, platform, people tend to take more care over it, design it, and um, mm, yes. um, write more carefully in it. Yes. Um, and, I mean, it's, a, it's a, to my mind, a, a crucial part of um, teaching in um, our current moment. Right. Okay. Great. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you.